All right, everybody. Good afternoon. Um, decided I'd do a video and heard a lot of talk about TVs on the side of the road. You see them all the time. These old CRT TVs, the old tube style televisions. Um, so I'm going to take one apart and I'm going to show everybody that doesn't know what's inside of one, what's worth any money, what isn't. And the biggest reason why I don't take these apart or pick them up. So, first things first, uh, flip it around to the back, on the screen, and the first thing I'm going to do is generally the thing, the only thing that I do is whack the cord off. All right. Now, we're going to pull the back of it off. Um, basically, most of them are put together with Phillips screws, and... You just look for the screw holes. There's usually some on the bottom holding the casing together. Uh, you know, they're not all the same, so you kind of got to look. But that's basically it. Just pull all the screws out. Well, that ain't even a screw hole. But this ain't too difficult. I'm using the old manual screwdriver. And today I'm actually filming with two different cameras. I am trying a different camera. And of course the camera I normally use, which is mounted to my chest. But I'm actually trying another camera, which is mounted to my head. Hopefully, to improve the footage. All right, got the screws out. The case should just come off. Well, it just, like I said, it should just come off. All right. I had to use a little persuader there. And this is what we got inside. A big circuit board, little circuit board. This is the yoke where most of the copper is. Now this is a smaller television, so yes, it's got a smaller yoke on it. Um, I only ever see like a small yoke like this, and then there's an the next side's a little bit larger for the bigger TVs. And then we have this field wire, which is copper. So let me uh, start clipping some wire. We'll pull all the insulated copper wire off. You know, one other safety point too. Uh, when dealing with these old TVs, you want to make sure that this TV has been shut off for a while. Because it is possible to get a good shock out of one. So you want to make sure it's been shut off for a while. circuit board just pulls out okay clip these wires
now on this circuit board. Um, as you see here, there is some extrusion, some aluminum extrusion that can come off. Um, there are a couple small transformers that can come off. Uh, these will go, you know, copper transformers go generally just like a copper bearing motor, which my scrapyard pays 15 cents a pound. Um, there's other little copper bearing things in here. Oh, focus. If you can see them, a few little odds and ends that can all be pulled apart. And then the circuit board at my scrapyard, they pay 10 cents a piece a pound for circuit board. It uh, doesn't matter if it's low grade, high grade, whatever. They pay 10 cents a pound. Now you can send it out to places like Board Sort or what have you. Um, I don't mess with them. So, and a lot of places will make you, will have you remove a lot of the stuff off those circuit boards. Oh, let's see. That should just unplug. And that would just go with the circuit board. Uh, usually a couple clamps on these yokes. Just have to unscrew. And usually they'll twist right off. You know, I see guys that will break these yokes. Will snap it and break them off. Which is not a good idea, because there are gases inside the tube television, you know, such as lead and other things that are not good to be breathing in. So I just take the clamps off. It's not that big of a deal. Give it a twist, slide it off. There's the copper yoke. I'm sure everybody's probably heard of these. People talk about them, all the copper in there. And there's a, oh, I forget what that's called. It's a metal bushing. We'll tear that apart in a second, though. Let's get back to this. All right, the other thing that's worth any money is this copper wire here that generally surrounds the tube. But... You do have to check these. If I can get my clippers in there. You do have to check these wires because on a larger television, generally, they are not copper. They're aluminum. Okay. So we got that off. Let me clip that copper wire. Now the only other thing is the little speakers down here. If you guys can see them. Some Phillips screws. Watch this one's only got one speaker. A lot of TVs are stereo, so yes, they have two speakers. Okay. And that's everything out of a television. So now what I generally do is I always put the case back on. I hope it's I put it on the right way, huh? I generally put the casing back on. And I just put a couple screws in it to hold it on there. Just because of that, the end of the tube sticking up can be dangerous. It is possible to fall and impale yourself with one. So. Put the cover back on, makes it safer to handle. And now all this is garbage. That goes in the garbage can. Now that's why I got a smaller TV to do this. Because now I only have to get rid of that. Okay. So now to the goodies.
this copper wire. Which I didn't get my knife. Let's see if it is indeed copper. All right. Let me go get my razor knife. Makes it easier. As I tip two through the junk here. Uh, where is it at? There it is. And I'm just going to peel this back a little bit. Which most of these wires that go around the tube are just insulated with tape. Like electrical tape, basically. But first thing I do is I just peel back some of the wire. Then I take my blade and scratch across it. Have a look at it. this thing will focus but make sure it is copper and this is indeed copper wire which then I'll strip that and I'll have a little piece of clean number two and then we have the yoke which is what it's most commonly referred to and yeah basically it's got some nice copper winding in it um, got to take it apart though which I cannot remember what these things are. They're not magnets, but they're basically almost the same. It's, it's a metal compound. It's like graphite or something. I don't know. I'm going to take the little clips off each side. And just pry them off of there. Usually, yep, they got glue on them. Some of them are really covered in glue. Oh, can I split this one? Yeah, some of you folks may be noticing that I have sleeves on because it's a little chilly this morning. Well, it is to me. 50 degrees is cold to me. Now, some guys will just take these and smash them with a hammer, which is fine. I mean, you know, one of a scrapper's favorite tools. Get all these things split apart here, maybe. All right. Smash and grab here. basically it so got some copper there some copper here once I take it all off which got to be clipped and it ain't too hard to come off I mean, you can take a, a cut-off wheel and cut it off real quick, or what have you. Just peel it off of there and cut it off however you can get it.
And that will go with my tennis shred. And there's the copper, minus the paper. So all that will go into my number two copper pile. And of course I gotta clean that one up. This, more trash. Little clamps go into the tin shred. My handful of copper wire, insulated number two. Um, like I say, this field wire around the tube, which will go as clean number two once I get it cleaned up. And my circuit board, which a lot of times take these uh, pieces of aluminum extrusion and I'll just take a pair of channel locks and just do the old rip and twist to get them off. Get them stuck. It's the same thing with the little copper transformers. And all the little other copper doodads. Now, if you're a person that's into the to e scrap, of course you can take all the the chips off and sort those, because I know places like Board Sort will buy the chips once you get you know so many pounds of them or what have you. This thing here is actually a transformer too, but my particular scrapyard, all they do is pay tin shred for that. They don't want it because it's so much plastic, so. That's basically it. That is a CRT TV. You know, a little bit of tin shred, some insulated number two. This I will clean up, will be clean number two. A little bit of uh, aluminum extrusion once they take the screws out and the whatever that thing is off. And a couple, what will go is copper bearing motors, transformers, and all the garbage and that's why i don't deal with them it's the garbage the tvs you know it ain't a whole lot of circuit board to make any money off of and the copper's nice don't get me wrong but for me it's not worth it anymore i used to do it a long time ago but i just don't do it anymore it's just too much hassle getting rid of the tv carcasses because, like I say, you get a bigger television, you'll get a bigger yoke, you'll get a little more copper out of it. Um, as far as the circuit board and the CRTVs, um, just because it's a bigger television doesn't mean it's going to be a bigger circuit board. Uh, it might be a little bit bigger, different design, but basically they all do the same thing. You know, it might have a little bit more transformer-wise on it. Um, but, yeah, that's basically it. And then you got to get rid of that. So... That's why I got a smaller one, because I can throw that on top of the garbage can and the garbage man won't mind picking it up. You know, the big monster TVs that weigh, you know, 50, 75 pounds, I see those on the side of the road all the time because the garbage man won't pick them up. So, let me trim this one out. You know, if you folks think it's worth it to do it, by all means. It's it's just a matter of time. It's time to tear it apart. And get the stuff out of it. And time dealing with the garbage. But just like with anything, the more time you put into it, the more money you'll get out of it, of course.
and that's it. So that's going to do it for me, guys and gals. Uh, so until next time. <laughs>